Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we are playing Dr. Decker's Doom Extravaganza. Ooh. So Bryce said that the church he grave digs at is uh, used to be owned by Scientologists, and we're going to ask him if he believes in that. All right. That's where we're at. Yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've done some dabbling in some Scientology. Did you ever watch that video? <laughs> I'm not sure I believe I in did. any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. Why don't you believe in God? There That's are too the many religions to pick from, don't you think? I think there's a lot of religions. There are a lot of religions. Uh, yes, let's... there are too many. Yeah, let's agree with him. So uh, yeah, I think that's what he wants, right? Yeah, yeah, he wants some validation. Yeah. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable. And the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. That's actually no. an interesting point. That is a, that's a, oh, oh, look, we went up to a yellow pill. There we go. We went right. up to a yellow with them. There we go. Let's know anything about He already told us he likes chess. Yeah. So let's ask about the murder. Yeah. yeah, might as well. Yes, Dr. Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. He's like, I, I know as much it. about it as you do. Less, I would imagine. Because I don't want to have to bury another body. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look, they got us off the hook. And we got them up to yellow yeah. on day one. Yeah, so that, let's, uh, can we just move on? Yeah, sure. We don't have to, you don't have to ask him about chess, but it, it might lead to something. Yeah, I, I guess let's ask him. Let's, let's spend a few more minutes like to see chess. what happens. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. He said he plays by himself. satisfying. Than planning scores of moves ask in us to play. and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. I thought he was going to ask us to play. What does he mean by the uh, planning oh, moves? Okay, why do you like planning moves ahead? Yeah, it makes sense. I guess. I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Oh. Nobody wants life to carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? I do. Dude, he is just making some... Oh. Yeah, if you're a doctor, you like to be in control. There's no ifs, ands, or buts yeah, about but, it, dude. But the, I just want to... I'm, tr I'm just trying to think, like, what would placate him? Like, I try to... You put a little thought... A little bit of thought to, like... Would he like it if I would say... What, what do you think he would like? Well... Either if you like he the control, likes to, he, true, you agree with him. But also, then are you are you butting heads with him because he wants to be in control? Exactly. And you want to be in, this, exactly. I don't know. Whatever. I'll let you. A car blanche. I would say no. Doctor Decker was very controlling. Thank he you. He unraveled See? at the end. Watch out for that, Doctor. See? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like to be in control. Was Okay, we're finding out more about Dr. Duck. Uh, yeah, through the chess questions. All right, here we go. He couldn't keep control of everything, of everyone. He just set us up like dominoes, but we all toppled in unexpected ways. You'll find it all out in time, Doctor. Just not today. Can't have your head exploding, can we? Because mm, it'll be like, how did you topple? <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got through all of his questions. Okay, okay. so we are Okay, there. cool. All right, and we got him up to, we got him and Mariana, yeah, right. we got up. Okay. All right, Eileen, Claire. I don't care which one you pick. Or Nathan. I am going to go with Claire. Okay, cool. She was on her knees in front of us. <laughs> she was. She yeah. was looking at us very close in her Lydia D to attire. All right, we can just get started, I guess. Uh, Who are you? Yeah, okay. My I name like. is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Oh, wow. So she's a B. <laughs> you're just on your knees in front of me. Now you're going to treat me I'm like sorry. a... I'm <laughs> sorry. Stop. You were just on your knees in front of me. Wow. All right. Why are you paying a small fortune or... No, I should just be like, why are you here, I guess. Yeah. No, I don't know. I feel like we're going to Tell her about someone. Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. She seems pretty innocent so far. Yeah, those are the ones, dude. Right? That's right. what I was thinking. 
Okay, uh, either one, man, whatever. Let's go while you're here. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. See? <laughs> sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? It does sound cold when you put it like that. Look, at the most normal sounding one of the bunch is the yeah. most insane. Oh, uh, history of violence. History of violence, 100%. To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. How did he provoke I mean, you? Absolutely. Tell me about that one violent outburst. Yeah, but he also has obsessive tendencies. Yeah, Those well, are... I want him to deal with the violence. Yeah, yeah, first, let's, right? uh, yeah, let's go down the let's go down the violence train first. Tell me about she has delusions too. Jesus. Yeah, she's I... a triple threat. Stabbed him with, Stabbed him with a steak, steak knife. knife. Shocking, isn't it? I mean, you know. I had a guy that I knew. Yeah. He had he took a video on his phone of his girlfriend threatening him with a knife in her hand. Yeah. And he didn't he didn't leave her. He stayed with her. And imagine if he had done that to her. Oh yeah, he had babies with her and everything. Mm. They're they're obviously not together now down the road. Nobody got stabbed or anything, but you know, she was a uh, Yeah, that's not, usually a good time. She wasn't very stable. No, I can tell. If can somebody tell. grabs a knife and holds it up to you and is yelling at you, like... She wasn't, like, holding it to him, but she had the knife and was, like, aggressively coming towards him, yelling at him about whatever was going on. Like, yeah, yeah. man, if anybody ever picked up a knife and came at me, I'd be like, I'll see you never again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's, that's something I don't want to deal with. Yeah, anyway, so... That's a red flag. Yeah, why did you stab him? All right, tell me... Oh, yeah, so why did you stab him? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. I was thinking that! <laughs> I was totally thinking that, dude. I was like, that's, that's pretty funny. Alright, well, we want to go down her obsessive tendencies or her, or her delusions. delusions. What do you want, Jones? Deception, deception I want, or delusions? I want to know about his obsessive tendencies. Obsessive? What are you obsessed about? I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Wait, you have a husband and a boyfriend? All right, what is absurd? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Oh, because she, cause she stabbed him and he's... Why what? shouldn't y your husband be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. Oh, so she's obsessed that he... Yeah, let's just keep down this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. How did he almost die? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. But you're obsessed with him? Why isn't he well? What would you do? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. Because I'm poisoning. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. You said it, Jonas. She but she's obsessed with him. I don't get it. Obs I mean, obsession shows its head in many ways. That's true, I guess. Like, you've seen Taxi Driver. If I can't have you, no one can have you. Wasn't that Taxi Driver? With Robert De Niro? I've never what seen. What was that. the movie where like it led to a real life death? That had, that had like wasn't it was a uh, Scorsese movie? I think. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know either. How has his health deteriorated? Tell me about caring for him, or tell me. Okay, so these two are both from the same one. Yeah, let's talk about his health. Yeah, let's see what his health is about. Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. Well, you stabbed him, girl. His mind's become less and less active, too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. So, hold on. So she's saying, hey, I stabbed my husband because mm -hmm. he was cheating on me. Mm -hmm. And now his health has declined and yeah. he doesn't want to talk to me. So, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, I think that would be okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, look, man, what's done is done. Um... What do okay. you mean by altercation? I think I know what you mean. Let's see what she has to do to care. F what do you What do you think? What do you think? Let's talk. Let's keep on the violence. So this one? Yeah, let's keep with the violence. Yeah. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? With a knife. I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. 
It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. You stabbed him. Why would the police not be involved with a stabbing? All right. Uh, oh, do you often get angry? That opened up a new. Yeah. I never used to get angry, ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? Yes. And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Yes, I agree. Okay. Why is it bad to lose control? Okay, so now we're going down the lineage of like her violent control loss. Okay. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Okay, so she's done. Okay, maybe not, because we can still keep going. Well, we can keep... I feel like Let's ask should... about why she's paying a small fortune. Yeah, I just want to get her up Being to yellow. Being has perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. That's what most people say who are rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay anything to get rid of X. Uh, whether it's a person or a problem. Tell me about caring for your man. David yeah. has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. You left him there a whole night, girl? He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Oh, wait, you're rich. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y button. I thought oh, smother frick I thought you were rich that's right rich being rich has its perks but honestly I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness so I don't get what the whole point of asking I'm going to have to, like, Google, like, a yeah. about this game and figure out what that, what do you use that for? There probably are some questions that you can ask, but. Yeah, so, well, let's, uh, let's I want to know why, I, may, let me ask it in a different way first. Are, why can't you afford Help I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. So we have to ask a question, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I thought I was. I thought I was on. Yeah. Something so there. I don't know. We'll figure that out on the next one. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you already did that. Hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we is out.